Google just killed Photoshop? On August 26, Google dropped Nano Banana, the internet's nickname for its new AI image model. Now, officially, it's called Gemini 2.5 Flash Image, but Nano Banana is kind of easier to say. It runs inside Gemini and AI Studio. It's completely free with Google account, and all you need to do is upload a photo, type a prompt, and hit generate. And in seconds, you've got product shots, background swaps, new lightning, even fresh camera angles for your YouTube videos, let's say. Some people might use this for silly edits, but the real value is in business. Ads, listings, campaigns made in minutes, and things like that. Now, I'm Tin, and on this channel, we explore how AI can save you thousands of dollars, time, and how you can make more money in the end. Now, today, I'll walk you through Nano Banana, what works, what what doesn't and how to get polished results without slipping on the you know nano banana peel yourself to use nano banana head over to gemini.google.com or ai studio log into your account pick gemini 2.5 flash and you're in from there the process is quite simple you upload one or more images type what you want in plain english and hit generate a few seconds later, you'll see the result. You just tell it what to do and it listens. Well, you know, most of the time, but more on that later. Now, here's what you can actually do with Nano Banana. Okay, let's start with product shots. Sure, they're not crazy expensive, but they are challenging and can eat a lot of your time. Now, you know, setting up lights, uh, clearing up space, taking dozens of pictures until one looks half decent it adds up right with nano banana you can skip all of that and say you got a soda can and you want it on a wooden table for an ad that you're doing if you just drop it in most tools make it float awkwardly no depth no shadow no realism but with the right prompt you can turn it into a studio quality shot which we want at the end of the day so here i made this fuel your digital water bottle it's great for burnout, procrastination, and staring blankly at your emails. I use this simple prompt and voila, not half bad, right? The shadow anchors it, the light matches the table, the label stays crisp, which we really want. Suddenly, it looks like a professional photo you could actually throw on an Amazon listing or drop into an ad, which at the end of the day, that's something we wanted. We wanted a realistic output. Now onto the labels. This has always been the breaking point for most AI generated images. Text would warp, letters would duplicate, or the label would just dissolve into an unreadable nonsense and BS, quite frankly. So that makes the image useless at the end of the day, especially if you're trying to sell something or present a product in front of your buyers. Now, Nano Banana handles this part surprisingly well. Let's say you've got a jar and you would want a clean studio photo with a white background. What you can do is you can prompt it like this. Now, the output is shockingly close to what you'd expect from a studio setup, which we want at the end of the day. The trick here is ending your prompt with a focus on the label. Something like make the text perfectly legible or keep the label sharp and center. That one line often makes the difference between gibberish type of generations and something usable that you would want at the end of the day. Now, this is one of the first times I've seen AI consistently, and when I say consistently, I mean consistently hold labels together across edits. You can actually take these images, you can drop them into Amazon, Shopify, or even a printed catalog and not feel embarrassed by what's showing up. Getting variety out of a product shot is harder than it actually looks. You can spend hours taking pictures, but in the end, you're stuck with the handful of angles you actually shot. Now, if you suddenly need a clean top-down photo or dramatic close-up for a banner or advertisement, that means you would need to do another round of photography 
photography. Well, in this case, with Nano Banana, that changes completely. So instead of reshooting again and again and again, you can just ask for the angle you want. Try something like this. By naming the angle and describing the lighting, you steer the AI towards a realistic perspective. Now, what you end up with is a whole gallery pulled from a single product photo. Top downs, side views, detail shots, all done in pretty much minutes and all consistent with the original look. Perfect for stores, presentations, or ads. If you're selling anything online, you need a good product pictures. That's a must. And not just studio ones, people actually wanna see how your stuff looks in real life, as kids would like to say. Hiring models, booking studios, and editing lifestyle shots costs money. And most small shops don't have that. Photoshopping products onto stock images is cheaper, but it's time consuming and and often ends up looking really fake. With Nano Banana, that cuts out from the entire story. So for fun, here I mocked up Fuel Your Digital sneakers. Now, these are great to wear when you go out to pick your Fuel Your Digital bottle of water. Anyhow, you take your product photo, add a scene and tell it what you want. The result looks like a sport ad. Honestly, it looks really great. The shoes sit naturally, the blur sells the movement and the lightning ties it all together. It's not perfect, but you get the gist. This is a huge deal for campaigns and social media. I mean, you can push out holiday versions, seasonal promotions, or quick lifestyle ads without ever touching Photoshop or renting an entire studio. As you might have noticed so far, or at least I hope you did, I like to keep things very honest. So no matter how much I really like Nano Banana, it definitely isn't perfect. Sure, it's work in progress and it will improve over time. However, I still wanna give you a clear overview of Nano Banana and my honest opinion about it. So here are three things you might wanna know before trying out Nano Banana. Number one is consistency. It isn't always consistent. Labels and faces can drift across edits. Text can be another issue it may duplicate letters misspell words or this sort text I mean best workaround here is retrying with keeping the text sharp and legible that's one tip that I would give you and number two is also prompt drift so sometimes it just ignores you and freelancers so the fix here is to regenerate with tighter prompts. So that's number two. Number three is quality loss. So long editing chains eat into sharpness. So running the final image to an upscaler might be worth doing. Nano Banana isn't perfect but for a free tool, it's insanely useful. I mean, you can spin up product shots, lifestyle scenes, or full campaigns in a matter of minutes. Sometimes it glitches the text or hands, but you know, that's AI for right now. And for speed and creativity, it's already the go-to tool for that. So open Gemini or AI Studio, drop in your product, and you'll have something polished before your coffee cools off. Now, if you like this, subscribe, for more AI tools, more tips and experiments just like this video. Let's keep pushing buttons, let's keep breaking stuff and finding smarter ways to work. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.